Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of my thoughts. Today, I'm going to give you my first impressions on the new character from Paladins. Say hello to Dredge, the Admiral of the Abyss. I'm gonna just walk you through his first at his abilities and such and then talents and then later discuss how good I think he is. So his first his main weapon is this grenade launcher called the Cursed Howitzer. I mean I I think that is how you pronounce it. Anyway. It works like your very standard lob grenade launcher. Like if you have played the demo man from TF2 or Junkrat from Overwatch, then you're going to love like this character. Maybe I love him. And I mean as a character. So this this weapon has three attributes. First as you have shown, saw, that these are just your pretty standard grenades. They they explode when they have hit a ground or any ground texture, for example, there. <clears throat> As I said, there. See. His alternative fire is called Broadside. Watch this. Broadside. Here you can also hear him speak. They also deal like first blood, like it's nothing. As as I was said. As I said, they deal uh, like 950 damage each. Dead center. And he here for last, we have his some sort of passive ability thing, I guess. See what happens when I reload. Yes, when reloading, he fires Killing some spree. sort of ball projectile that deals like a hundred thousand damage. And I am also using a talent that is his base base talent that you get for when you unlock him. This talent allows you. To make that projectile deal its damage on an area, like the rest of this kit. That's two in a row. Rampage. So his Q ability is called Harpoon. Watch this. Harpoon. So cold. Have seen, in your own um, as you just saw, it this harpoon deals like 800 damage and slows the target by 50 seconds. I mean, I mean 50% for two seconds. So cold. Yes. That's seven in a row. Then That's two in a row. We have his movement ability. That is called shortcut. Like this is some sort of thing that does absolutely nothing at first. But watch this. Fancy a shortcut. It has changed color. Now we have we have this teleports you 
and it destroys the original entrance. That is actually pretty neat when uh, talking about hi one of his other talents and making uh, some clever escapes. And now, finally, for, for the ultimate. This is just the most perfect ultimate that you can get. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Release the Kraken! That's nine in a row. That's two in a row. Keep them yes, coming. You saw that right. That's eleven 4, in a row. Damage. Oh, quadra. Four thousand damage. And when paired with harpoon, which slows you for two seconds, you can make up some pretty good plays with. Now, let's go on with the different talents that we have. First, here is the scuttle talent that I was using, and as, and as I mentioned, the one you get for unlocking the character. Then we have Hurl. I mean, this is. Like, this talent is frankly disgusting. Like, for a number of reasons. First... Like, God no my. longer sl slows, two but it row. has no cooldown. And, and I am talking about Harpoon. And... In the starter loadout that I have in this... Have equipped... Like, every time you use Harpoon... It gives you back three ammo, so I can basically spam Easy work, ammo. Spam this weapon. That's two turn. in a row. Keep them coming. Unlimited broadside. That's two in a row. Keep them coming. It's pretty insane, isn't it? Now for... Abyss Spike. This is also a talent that affects Harpoon. It... It just... Makes the Harpoon a proximity mine. Like, look at this. Harpoon! So cold! Yes, it deals thousand damage like for this. people who That's are just two in a row. Keep them coming. Near firing on me. The harpoon. That's two in a row. Keep them coming. And then, finally, we have. A Talent Freebooter. This allows our, our allies to walk through the teleporter. Just leaving this here. like this character like he's just so fun to play as but i do agree that he is that's too two in a row spamish. like like for if you have a have the talent hurl and you have a card in your loader that gives you like free ammo when you use harpoon 
it is like That's an two in apple. a row. Keep them coming. Oh, and Quadra. Panzer kill. Oh, so why would you just want to use his primary oh fire? Oh my gosh! When you, when you can just spam this. So, as I probably forget to mention, this is not the live version of the game, and this is just the, like the test servers for this current patch. This. So, I'm gonna show you like the six new skins that they also added in this patch. Because, I mean, there are also other things, but I wouldn't, would not be bothered to, like, show you just basic roaming emotes or the recolors of the skins. So, I'm gonna show them in a, just the, mo just the, well, like the ca character customization screen thing. So, first up, no, I do not want to go back to lobby. First up, we have Ying and its Dark Speaker skin. First off, we have this pretty cool helmet, if I say so myself. Like, in the live game, and for the longest of time, he was one of my mains. So I'm pretty happy to get her Anu's skin. And I also you have enough so I just have enough crystals to buy this so this illusion is the healer they heal you and your team is pretty nice also the effects on the teleportation ability is pretty nice and the effects on the Right click are also pretty nice. Minion, come forth. And and then we have her ultimate. Like the uh, like the aura on that is just pretty. All I can say is pretty good. First blood, and also, like it's nothing. Like the weapon, like the mirror here as a weapon was supposed to go forward, but I think it's just better this way because it looks just so damn good. Now look at this. And and top it all off, she. This skin also has pretty good choke lines. And if you know, like if you don't know what I mean, let me explain. In Paladins and in Smite, there's just, there's this VGS system, like where you just put a combination of key, key presses in your keyboard and the character will say commands. Here we have VEJ that makes the character tell a joke. Why are ghosts so bad at lying? Because you can see right through us. And here, here is a taunt voice line. I will enjoy ending you. And to top it all off, here have a, here have a 
the, her saying, I am the greatest. My power is unmatched. Next up, we have Vivian. Day Vivian Daywalker skin. Let's just look. Like, she is supposed to be some sort of vampire hunter that is also a vampire. I mean, doesn't really make any sense. But, I mean, come on. Like, come on. The, this character, this game is pretty nonsensical, so. I mean, why would you even care that? things don't make any sense. Like the iron sights... It... It... I mean, they are iron sights. Nothing unusual there. No, but the weapon... Also looks pretty damn good. Damn it, I forgot to inspect the weapon with the ying. But... I don't know. Yeah, you can see it like her gun has this batwing motif, and instead of the usual power crystal you have in there, you have a blood vial. I mean, this is pretty cool. Then we have a sensor drone. As you could hear, there was just some sort of batwing flat flutter effect. Here we have uh, her shield. Like it is blood red instead of the basic blue shield she has. And for the ultimate, let's see. <laughs> like instead of the normal normal drone stuff she has, like where the center is all orange, this time it is more like. This some sort of open a portal to some more, some place more sinister. Killing spree. That's two in a row. Keep them coming. Rampage. Oh, quadra. I'm gonna give you also give you some sort of voice line to listen more of her voice pack. Stay away from Sailor Blood. Last time I woke up two days later in a chicken coop. I mean, I don't really, I I don't really know why this is some sort of a joke. Careful, I bite back. Ne and next up we have uh, Fernando with his nightmare skin and that is night as in a, a no nobles man from the medieval times not as in the time period after day like K N I G H T. I mean, I hope you get it. God damn it! I forgot to. I, that was not the talent I was. Super. 
posto. Take. But as you can see, the plane particles on his flamethrower looks very good. Is this some sort of butane gas that you ha can ha you have in a li like f real life flamethrowers to actually light up the flame? Here we have his charge. Here we have his Ooh, Fernando's surfing Ooh. emote. <laughs> this is a pretty good way to Ooh. actually show you the whole skin. <laughs> and for some reason, it just it just plays the basic voice lines for. Uh, the basic Fernando, not actually the skin. I mean, high res, if you're like in the very last, like the very tiny chance you are actually watching this, could you please add that like the M emotes have a skin specific so voice lines? <laughs> oh, anyway, here we have a fireball. Here we have his shield. Don't push your luck. Don't push your luck. Pretty good, isn't it? And last and certainly not least. Wait till we get there. I'm gonna show you his ult in this. And also the ultimate <laughs> is fine. I will not die. Not again. Your service begins. I'm sorry, Fernando. I couldn't stay there. Now, for the ne next skin, we have uh, for Victor. Where? In this skin, they ba have basically turned this very, like, grisly old soldier man into a werewolf. Oh crap, I just forgot to show you, show you more of Fernando's voice pack. Well... I mean, does anybody really care for the voice packs? Like, you can listen to them, eh? like, on YouTube and stuff. Ooh, rough. Look, at Look at this. This weapon effect and the muzzle flash. Looks pretty good. Like the here we have this effect for the sprint. We also we have in a first person where his tail just wiggles around. Here we have uh, his grenade. It is just a puff of killing off. spree. Puff off. That's two in a row. Keep them coming. And look at, look at this. There's some sort of print that is left when you when you explode the grenade. God damn it! Never dies. Look at this. It sh 
leaves this some sort of print that looks like it's the moon. Here we have this Unstoppable! That's two in a row. Keep Here them coming. We have more of the Savage. The effect oh, that is left quattro. when you throw the grenade. Immortal! Next up, we have a Iron Madame Inara. Like, we have this very, very friendly, like, women may woman made out of stone and this is not so friendly woman made of iron and also there is pretty creepy faces on it like some of her abilities and stuff I mean look at this wall you wouldn't really want to cross that And that voice pack is also pretty creepy. And when you fire her weapon, it just sounds like there is some so metal. Here we have this ability. I mean, listen to that sound. Like, it sounds so metal. Here we have his personal shielding ability. And for last we have is her ultimate. You are not welcome here! Feel my pain! Killing spree. For last, we have. Uh, fuck if you can find if I can find him. That is. We have uh, a trick or treat. Tell us. I mean the best part of this skin is the weapon. I mean, look at this. This weapon has googly eyes. This is just the best thing ever. Killing spree. That's two in a row. Keep them coming. Rampage. Here we have a. The effect on his teleport. And there is also a spider effect when you use the tele use it. And you can also see that there is candy just flying around when you punch. Let's put that be. Tell me that. That's two in a row. That's seven in a row. Keep them coming. Oh, Quadra. That's nine in a row. Pantakill. Also pretty funny. And now for I'm going I'm just gonna do some some thing eh, where I show you the rest of the cosmetic options that you get from this event well this is all gonna be the 
video for this week and I hope and we will also see you on the I mean I will see you on the next video goodbye